Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dog Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the latest Blue Zone, uh, sorry, the latest Magnificent Spectacular, Spectacular, blah, blah, that one. I keep forgetting the name, it's just not something that's sticking with me. But basically, um, yeah, we're looking at the Magnificent Spectacle First, the three great Super Saiyans. This is a part of the movie edition. And it's three phases, so this, the fights so far have been two phases. Uh, traditionally we've had, you know, um, the first one against, I believe it was Goku Youth was one phase. The second one was against Goku Piccolo. That was also one phase. Uh, now we obviously have this one, uh, which is also, well, isn't also one phase. So we've got three phases here. The first one's against Goku, AGL. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Goku hits decently hard. Uh, he hits for around about a million. He does raise his attack for one turn on his super. And he hits for around 400,000. Obviously, uh, on top of that, he also is immune to stunning, immune to sealing. And he disables attack and defense reduction, which, you know, is... Uh, is very uh very demure very mindful so uh yeah the next one the next phase is against tech goku and vegeta and this one yeah honestly speaking uh is not too bad so this is obviously the super saiyan trio's ssr i think um and this one is not too bad the thing is this one has the same health as the first phase so you actually will feel the second phase, the tech phase, go a little bit slower. I mean, go a little bit faster than the first phase, largely due to the fact that your units are built up, um, obviously depending on your team. But for me, I found that the second phase definitely felt uh, a lot easier just due to the fact that, you know, the units were going uh, much, much faster because obviously they were now built up. So I will say that was definitely the case. Um, but yeah, overall, this one, the second phase, they are able to be sealed, which is pretty important, but they do build up their attack. So they're hitting a bit harder, like a 1.4 million uh, super. They can also super twice per turn, which is pretty annoying. In fact, they can actually technically super uh, multiple times per turn. I think they have like a 30% super chance, and they also have... Um, yeah, they have like a 30% super chance and then they can also fire off three attacks per turn. They, they don't have a cooldown between their supers. So like as far as I know, they can just super you like on site. Like they, they can just go ham. So it is pretty intense. Uh, I will say that you can be caught out by that double super. So you do have to be a little bit careful. Um, of course, it's not like super duper easy or anything but yeah it is i mean it is definitely like there's a risk factor involved um i will say that overall though uh to be honest with you i think for the most part um yeah this team that i have does more than fine uh, i don't really have any major issues uh, with like how the team functions or anything like that uh I do, you know, like, think that, you know, you could probably run a stronger team for sure. But this team ran pretty well. I mean, it was a lot of fun for me. Yeah, I like, uh, I like teams that are, you know, how can I say, like a certain way uh, inclined. And I like just running certain types of teams. And this was a cool team. You know, Extreme Future Saga definitely functioned nicely. Uh, the Goku Black was definitely really helpful as well with the attack lowering and the build up. Uh, so that all worked out really nicely. But yeah, uh, I think overall, if I'm being entirely honest, uh, I think yeah, the first and second phases weren't like a huge issue. Um, it's the third phase where things get a little bit interesting. So Goku raises his defense and then also raises his defense for every time he gets hit by six percent other than that you can lower his attack and he doesn't hit like a super duper hard like he hits decently hard but he's not hitting insanely hard so 
overall, I'd say this one was a relatively difficult stage. Uh, I think, you know, for me, all things considered, I think a lot of players will not have too much trouble with this one, uh, especially if you are, you know, using like the latest units or superheroes or uh, anything like that. Like you'll end up having a pretty decent time regardless, just because yeah, it's not like um, yeah, it's not the most intense stage. Um, I'll say this worldwide chaos team works super duper nicely because we've got like a lot of the tools that we really want here. Yeah, we've got like the um, yeah, we've got like the nice intercept or interrupts from the physical Buhan. Uh, Buhan obviously does huge damage. We've got some great tankiness with the tech Boo. Um, obviously, again, super duper awesome. Uh, we've got the like intrinsic solid strength uh, of you know the Zamasu combination. We've got the Goku Black who also attack lowers, which is great, and fires off a ton of supers against super class enemies and and everything like that. So, yeah, honestly, I mean, at this point, like we're definitely yeah, how can I say? Like we're definitely uh, got a super strong team. Yeah, we'll use the master's standby skill to just kind of make ourselves immune to damage and provide that extra defensive buff. Uh, so yeah, we just have like we have pretty much everything we need. Yeah, we don't need like a lot more other things. So yeah, for me, definitely, I think this was a fairly decent run. Team ran great, everything ran great. I was very happy with how everything came together. I do think, you know, you could, there's stronger teams for sure. Um, I can't wait to use like a movie boss's team or something. Obviously, as people should know, I don't try to use like the best teams right out the gate just because uh, I like to, you know, use all the teams or all the units where possible. Um, but yeah, I think like if you use movie bosses or planetary destruction or uh, Super Saiyan or movie heroes or anything like that, I think you'll probably find that you have a really, really good time with this one. Um, at least overall for me. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Honestly, really, really fun time. Uh, yeah, Int Goku, he nullifies damage below a certain health, but like he's not that difficult. Um, especially like if you have attack lowering and everything, you have like you know, the previous nature of Zamasu and stuff like that. Uh, I think all of it just, you know, really comes together properly. So yeah, that's basically it from me. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know and let me know what teams you used to beat it. And I uh, will see you guys next time. Bye.